Hi, it's Faceless Tech. This is my take on a cyber deck. You might be asking yourself, what the hell is a cyber deck? But if you look around the internet, most people um, put a Raspberry Pi, a key mechanical keyboard, a screen together, uh, and then that's that's what they call a cyber deck, which is just like a mobile computer in a non-standard form factor, which um, this is what I kind of wanted to create here. Um, this is built off the uh, Zero Boot system, which I've previously made a video on making a case for. As you know, the case was not the original design was not designed for a case so it was kind of a bit challenging I had to have some um not very good design decisions made but we were where we were so i took that design um what i'd used at that took with it and added some bits and bobbed into here with this one i haven't got the um battery in the screen i've got it in the case here which is connected here um i'll take you around the hardware it's basically a raspberry pi zero w a uh, 3.5 inch screen 480 by 320 so it is quite nice high res um, there's a battery management in there there's full size USB on the side here there's a charge port here this is the uh, GX12 aeronautical style connector that I've got my batteries connected to and then around the top you've got the battery management up top here if you press that button it'll tell you the battery level when it's off um, I've got a full size HDMI out which is yeah, obviously in the in the Raspberry Pi Zero, it's got a mini, so this one's a mini to thingy adapter. You've got the power switch, and you've got a, a, a micro SD card, like a and a clip-on adapter, so that you can pull it out without needing pliers. And it also adds to the uh, accenting with the grey and the um, and the orange. Ooh. Right, the batteries. Uh, I got a bit carried away with this. They were the same length as the uh, keyboard, so I was like, right, I'll just um, put them together uh, end to end, um, put, put connectors on the end of it and call it a day. But that, um, obviously that was in series. I wanted them in parallel. Luckily I realized my error uh, before connecting it up to the Pi and firing it. Luckily I added enough space in here um, to, um, I added a little divider and uh, soldered some bits onto it so that it could, um, connect it up normally and it thank god it worked i'd um designed it with not much space i was basically using 18650 batteries and i was relying on the um corner because the round obviously and it's in a square i was relying on the corner bits here uh, to run the wires with luckily i had um was gonna have uh, a bit of a bump here so uh, some of the wiring can go because it's just uh, a tie wrap here to keep this in and obviously that's like four mil high so I had to um, have a little bump here. But I also, when I was um, got this connected with a GoPro style uh, hinge, a lot of people use them. And I even went as far as to order some M5 nuts and bolts so I could make my own uh, GoPro hinge instead of relying on third party stuff and uh, ordering stuff in. Um, but when I was um, calculating, because I wanted this to fall flat when it's not in use, but I measured from the top here to the screen, but I didn't realize at the time was that the heat, the uh, GPIO actually sticks up higher than the screen. But luckily I had uh, took some measurements and I had um, rounded them up just to give me an extra bit of uh, breathing room. But thank God I did, because I was gonna have this uh, top, it was gonna be two mil thick. And um, that's what I calculated in, but I had to shave a mil off here in this area to get it to fit, which was, uh, it kind of adds a bit to the design um makes it a little bit it looks a bit different but thank god because this base print alone was uh eight hours 45 minutes which is my longest print to date um but it come out really quite well uh for it i've added a um a uh, lanyard strap here hole uh, i even made my own lanyard which i'll make a separate video on because i couldn't um i was going to order one but then i was like you know why order one when you can just make one in this day and age. Um, the keyboard is just a Bluetooth keyboard, um, which is connected by these uh, that normally you put on the back of a phone, and then you have the magnetic mount that goes on your dash, and you attach it to it, so I just use that. Because um, obviously when you're plugging your screen in by uh, HDMI, you want to sit down on the couch, you could use this as a multimedia unit if you went around to your friend's house and you wanted to you know, plug, uh, plug some USB in and uh, watch a film. You can you can do it with this. The only thing I haven't done is broke out the um, the uh, US the uh, USB power 
so you can power it straight from the mains. It can, but that's got two 1860s, 650 batteries, so they do, you know, usually easily get through a film with that, and uh, and then some. But yeah, it's it's probably one of my most ambitious um, builds uh, and projects to date. Uh, just just the longest print alone, which uh, you know took up my entire printer for the entire day. But I think it was worth it really in the end. It didn't really cost me literally nothing uh, by this connector. I think that's the only thing I had to order in. And the bolts for that. Everything else I had on hand. I just recycled the project because, uh, you know, with the pandemic, it makes it uh, harder to order. So I thought, why not just make stuff that I got on hand, recycle it. So as usual, design files will be in the description below with a bit of a blog post um, and everything else uh, on the original uh, blog post as well for the Zero Boot system. If you want to look at that even more. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Bye.